Okay, today we are going to talk about uh, chapter number 12, which is our long-term liabilities and bonds. And uh, we're going to do this question uh, about analyzing, generalizing, and reporting bond transactions in, in, in an accounting system. So we have Denny's Hamburger issued a 6% 10-year bonds payable at 90 on December 31st, 2024. At December 31st, 2026, Denny reported the following as follows. So what do we have here? We have a long-term liabilities bonds payable, $600,000 that we have to pay after 10 years of this date. And we have a discount, which is $48,000. So when we have bonds payable minus discount, that gives you the current value or the present value of the bond, which is 552,000. Denny's pays semi-annual interest each June 30th and December 31st, okay? We have to answer the following question about Denny's bonds payable. What is the maturity value of the car? Maturity value simply means what do you have to return at the maturity date and what is a so let's so what is the issue date first the date the bond was issued was uh december 31st 2024 so this is december 31st 2024 was a issue date and it was issue life of bond is 10 years as we know 10 year bond so it will be going to the uh, maturity date will be date will be the 10 years so december 24 is issue so december 25 the first month 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 and 34 so the maturity date will be December 31st, 2034, all right? What is the maturity value is what you have promised the bondholders. So the maturity value is you have promising the bonds payable is $600,000. So the answer to this question is $600,000. What is the carrying amount of bond at December 31st? 2020 so this is the carrying amount of december 31st 2026 so denny at december 31st 2026 denny reported the bond payable as follows so we have a bond payable so bond payable is six hundred thousand dollars and we have a discount of $48,000. When we subtract these two, it will give us the carrying value or present value of bond, which is $552,000. So that's how we calculate. The set third part is, C part is, what is the semi-annual cash interest payment on the bonds? So semi-annual interest will be equal to mean six months. So the bond payable is $600,000. So you are taking $600,000 bond and you are paying 6% interest. This is called face interest. So the face interest of this bond is 6%. So 6% of this, and you have to multiply 6 over 12 because you're paying every 6. So 6% 6 of this is 36,000. 36,000 divided by 2 is $18,000. So Danny Hamburger would have to pay $18,000 every six months as long as the bond is owned by the bondholder. How much interest expense should the company record each year? It would be $18,000 every six months. So that would be $18,000 and $18,000. It would be $36,000. So that will be the interest that you will be paying of $36,000. Record the June 30 semi-annual interest payment 
and amortization of discount. So we have to pay uh, $18,000, but in the D part, we have to find out because the bond was sold at 90%, was sold at 90%. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the $600,000, the original value of the bond, and then we're going to subtract $600,000 and we're going to multiply by 90% or 0.9. That will give us a 540,000. And when we subtract the 540,000 is give us 60,000. And since we are using a straight line amortization, so in a straight line amortization, you always divide with the total number of years. So in total number of years are 10 years. So that means every year you're going to take a discount of $6,000. And when you're going to take a $6,000 per year plus the 42,000. So your interest expense for the year will be it's 36,000 plus the $6,000 and that will give you $42,000. All right, so when we are talking about discount, so when you are selling, you're saying that you are selling a bond at 90%, what does it mean? It means when you are issuing this bond, you are not receiving the $600,000 that you are promised to pay to the bondholder. Instead, you are only receiving 90% of $600,000. So you are receiving $540,000 today, but you are promised to pay $600,000. And when we do when we do this, it's called discount. Basically, you are selling your debt uh, at a cheap rate. So, so remember when we talked about bonds, we have three things. Par value means we are selling the $600,000 debt at $600,000. That means we'll return them $600,000. When we're selling at par means instead of $600,000, we're going to get more than $600,000, but we're going to return them only $600,000. Discount means we are selling at a loss. We're selling at say $540,000 here, and we're going to return them $600,000. But in the, in the world of bonds, we do not call loss or profit. So instead of profit, we use the term premium. And, in the, uh, and for loss, we use the term discount. The reason is the loss and, pro, uh, sorry, the loss and gains are like a point in time. For example, if you have a car that you purchase for $10,000, if you sell it for $12,000, you have a $2,000 gain. If you sell it for $8,000, you have a $2,000 loss, but the transaction is completed. He, the person has got the car and you got the cash. So there is no uh, change, there's nothing left, but bond has a life. A bond has a 10 years life. So we have to take that loss or gain over a period of 10 years. That's why we cannot use the term loss or gain and instead we divine, decide or define or invent a term it's called for loss discount and for profit again is a premium right so i hope i have answered all your questions i am going to post this video today uh, please let me know if you have any question on this video